The debate over using school buses to transport something in the water festival goers continues tonight. Today, both school board and city council members met to discuss the proposal. 13 News Now reporter Dana Smith has the latest. The use of school buses to transport festival goers is a matter that's still up in the air. The city council is all for it, but the school board does have some concerns about the issue. Thousands of people are expected to flood Virginia Beach for Pharrell's Something in the Water Festival. The big question on everyone's mind, how are all those people going to get around? Hopefully that, you know, they've got enough buses to take care of all the people because <laughs> we got a bunch of people coming in. The Virginia Beach City Council approved the use of 70 buses to drive festival attendees from parking lots to the oceanfront stage. City Council member Aaron Rouse says hundreds of drivers have volunteered to drive. We know the idea is always to alleviate a lot of the traffic concerns, um, not only for our local residents, but for um, you know our visitors coming here. But it's up to the Virginia Beach School Board to approve it. The board is meeting tonight at 6 to discuss the issue. Board member Victoria Manning says she can't say whether or not a decision will happen tonight, but members are looking forward to getting more information and having their concerns addressed. First student pickup is around 530 in the morning, Monday morning. So I need we need to make sure that our our schools, school buses are ready to go. They're clean, that our drivers have plenty of rest. Now, Rao says that festival organizers will cover the costs associated with using buses for the festival. Something in the water is now just 17 days away. In Virginia Beach, Dana Smith, 13 News Now.